Hello and welcome to Warframe. My name is Todd, also known as Mage Mech, and this is of course Warframe. Last time we left off completing uh, the Neptune Junction. We're now on uh, Neptune, so we can go across that and kind of make our way towards Pluto. Um, of course, there was a, mace, uh, a massive update. Um, one of the big things that happened was that the Night Wave, uh, I want to call it an event, but I'm kind of unsure as of the future of it, so um, for now we'll just refer to it as an update. Um, the Night Wave update kind of dropped, which introduced the Wolf of Saturn Six stuff. Uh, one thing you might notice in the top part of our screen here is, while we do have some uh, alerts, the rest of like the garbage alerts aren't there. Um, standard alerts have been removed from Warframe. Yeah, you heard that right. Standard alerts are gone. So as a part of that, the uh, Night Wave event kind of started, and I'm just going to let this play. Uh, so you to, of course, begin it, you come over here to where your scanner was, and you initiate. It's a bad moon, dreamers. Can you feel it? Hmm. From my perch at Night Wave, I listen at the windows of the wealthy and well-to-do. Ever heard of Saturn Six? News to me, too. Turns out the Grenier had a max pin floating some six leagues deep in the gas. No one knew about it. Cause no one ever busted out. Until now, right. Some Grenier meathead they started calling the wolf. On account of him taking up howling at night. Decrypts say he was a model prisoner, doing the time. Fabbing bombs with the rest of his con brothers. Apple of the Warden's eye, even. But something cracked. And now he's out there on the loose. The so-called Wolf of Saturn VI. Greed. Brutality. Oppression. True stories all. And the system is full of them. All right. Dreamers, you listening? The system needs you performing your good deeds for the day. So. Nora needs it. Needs you to act, to change things. Hear the news, dreamers? Hear it or be it. Your call. Because in Nora's system, no good act goes unrewarded. This. Man is Nora Knight. You're listening to Nightwave. Well, we'll thank Nora Knight for uh, doing that for us. I'm just going to turn on our radio there. Um, so effectively, with the death of the alert system, they introduced the Nightwave system, which is effectively like a small little challenge system. You can see that there's many different types of challenges that you can complete. These kind of replace the uh, challenges that you would typically have in missions, such as like kill five enemies with an assault rifle or something to that effect. And uh, once you've completed one of these, you gain standing. Once you complete the standing level, instead of having to uh, rank up with like items or anything, you just automatically rank up and get the next reward. Um, so as you can see, it kind of goes through and you get different rewards. The fourth reward is already two weapon slots, and I think the eighth reward is a Warframe slot. So this is a fantastic way to get some really good stuff uh, that you've probably never gotten before. And also a great way for new players to kind of get some really useful items early on. It's very, uh, you know, some of these challenges are super easy, um, like deploying a glyph up to much tougher stuff such as doing sorties, eidolons, and killing a hundred extremist uh, enemies. Um, they are broken up into dailies, weeklies, and elite weeklies I think it is. Um, so effectively once you complete all these you'll rank up as time goes along. Uh, the main re major, <laughs> major reason why I stated that I don't know if this is an event or not is just because with kind of how far you can get, you can get all the way up to rank 30. Uh, this event, if it is an event, will probably be around for good a good amount of time here. So uh, I wouldn't say uh, procrastinate on it, because if it does ever go away, you may miss out on some of these rewards. And um, 
I could go down the entire list showing them all off, but effectively, there's just some really good stuff. Uh, emotes, mods, uh, um, some K drive stuff. Um, there's a scene. Scenes are effectively things you can do in the capture mode, which is like taking cool pictures, as you've seen, I'm sure, some people in Warframe can do. Um, the final rewards are the thing, major things of note. Um, the major one being the Umbral Forma was released with this um, update. So this is the first time we've seen an Umbral Forma, uh, or Umbra Forma. And we haven't unlocked the major content that uh, is related to the Umbra Formas, but if you do know what an Umbra Forma would relate to, uh, that's how you could get them. Uh, now, the wolf creds that you can get off, you can go into cred offerings here and effectively purchase all the other things you would have been able to get from the alerts. And this, I believe, cycles every now and then. So um, you can kind of go through and purchase really useful stuff like Orican reactors, uh, catalysts, bobbin parts, uh, auras, which would be fantastic, um, and just some other stuff like some weapons and helmets for different alternate helmets for Warframes. So overall, this kind of replaces the randomness of uh, the alerts, which you can be on the fence about. I personally think that it's great as this kind of gives you a steady way to work towards getting these rewards rather than just trying to wait for them to be around. So now you can kind of actually play more and earn more. Um, Let's check so that's pretty nice. Next. And now that I've turned on the radio, Nora Knight will talk to us every now and then. and uh, Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Um, there was also, because this is Friday, uh, of the the day before the weekend, of course, the Gift of Lotus are up right now, um, so that's something to do if we're looking at that, but our major thing is, is because we unlocked the Neptune Junction, we want to do the quest the Second Dream. I just wanted to real quickly show that I did change around our mods. Um, so I removed Mobilize and replaced it with Rending Turn. You can see what Rending Turn does there effectively just add slash damage to our bullet jumps, which is kind of nice. Um, I changed around our Vectus, I think. Yeah, I added Cryo Rounds. I may take that off later, but I also added Point Strike. Um, all sniper rifles are fantastic crit weapons, so I highly recommend getting crit mods on them if you've got them. I don't think I changed the Vasto. Yeah, the Vasto really didn't have anything I could do with that. I didn't change the Orthos either, because it didn't really have anything we could do there. I did change Taxon. Um, I removed Coolant Leak as it was causing problems when we were trying to stealth around. And I also tr traded out Retarget for Assault Mode. Now, Assault Mode is a, mo is a mod you can get from the uh, Orb Valis, and it effectively works on all Sentinels and it increases their range to about the same as uh, Retarget, which uh, might not seem all that important, but I will just say that there are some. Uh, sentinels out there who had smaller ranges before, so this is actually a really nice mod for those Sentinels in particular. Taxon not being one of them at the current time. I did also change around the Artax, added Continuous Misery to increase the status duration, Magazine Warp, Ammo Drum, and Fast Hands. Not really a massive reason to do that, but I figured why not. Um, I had some of those mods uh, that were just sitting around, might as well throw them in there. All right. I uh, don't think there's anything else to explain. We're just going to jump straight into the second dream. And, uh, begin. Who destroyed the Orokin? Your way of life. Who do you hunt, Shadow, to cleanse your despair and their blood? Dando! Sever their heads, yet they rise again. Someone has hidden the Tenno essence, their truth from you. Lotus! I know where she hides the Tenno heart. A womb in the sky. Forbidden to my kind, but where you will take me. I am Hanhao, 
Sentient destroyer of worlds. By your hand, expose their heart. By my edge, cleave it beating from its nest. And so we meet Hunhow. That was, of course, the Stalker, uh, partnering up with our good buddy Hunhow, who uh, was previously in his two. Sentient Hunhow has grown strong again, and his thoughts have invaded my own. Worse still, he has enlisted the Stalker to find the Reservoir, a weak point of Alteno, a place I hid long ago. I fear the Stalker is on the cusp of finding this place. Do not let this happen. Uh, so our major thing is, uh, major point of this quest, of course, is we're introduced to Hun Hao. Um, we see that he makes the Stalker more powerful. Note that after completing the second dream, the Stalker will be more powerful. Um, oh, I also almost forgot. With the release of Nightwave and the Wolf of Saturn Six, you may also run into the Wolf in missions. So be aware that if you run into him, he will be much more difficult than the Stalker. Uh, just a heads up. Uh, back to our mission though. Effectively we're trying to prevent the stalker from reaching uh, the reservoir, as the Lotus referred to it as, and seizing hold of the Tenno's weakness. What weakness is that? Well, that's to be revealed. You wouldn't think that, you know, undying super soldiers would be all that weak even though the Stalker had a Loki head in that cutscene there. But uh, Loki's not really the best Warframe to fight the Stalker anyway. The Grenier's excavations have disturbed Hunhau's tomb. They've awakened something evil, bent on Tenno destruction. Infiltrate the Grenier systems to find out what they know. It may lead us to the Stalker. <laughs> The Grenier expedition has uncovered pieces of Hun Hao, fragments of his body. For Hun Hao, every part of him is connected to his singular mind. Is this how he's invading my mind? So, uh, the Lotus is kind of making reference to the previous comments, of course. Hun Hao is the Lotus's um, father, I suppose you could say. Um, they're both in a way, sentient. In a way. And, uh, as such, when the Stalker gained those armor pieces and the sword that he gained from Hunhau, he gained pieces of Hunhau. Meaning, effectively, that, uh, they... that he, uh, kinda is with... Hunhau is with the Stalker now at all times, in a way. Note that the upgrade that Stalker got was referred to as uh, the Shadow Upgrade. The so detected. the Stalker from now on will be referred to kind of as the Shadow Stalker. He is tougher. His move set is different. Um, though I would honestly state that his move set, his new move set, kind of makes him easier to fight in kind of an odd way. Just dealt with an extremist there. So you can kind of see at the bottom as we're completing things, um, that would be the challenges for the Nightwave event. Uh, they're popping up at the bottom the same way previous challenges would. Makes it easy to kind of keep track of what you're actually completing. Alarms successfully hacked. The location is returning to normal security Just levels. wanted to reset those alarms so we can kind of prevent... Uh, any problems and we're going here to hack this vault here because we've only got one cipher and we don't want to waste it. I should have probably made more ciphers if I had realized this was a spy mission. Thankfully we are on uh, Uranus here so we might be able to do it without alerting anyone. Oh boy. This is the tough one though. Let's see, can we go into this water? No we cannot. All right. So we have to avoid being alerting any of the enemies. We're going to actually take it kind of easy here. Let's see if we can't uh, avoid the sensor robots. Because the sensor robots are going to be the ones that are going to cause us problems. I don't see any at this moment. Uh, let's jump up here. 
avoid more sensor robots. We do also have to get into that area up top, which means that we'd have to go through one of these laser gates and kind of move upwards. Taking it kind of easy just because it's better in spy missions to do so. Uh, you can see that there's like a little effect every time we bullet jump now because we have rending turn on. Um, not massively important, but somewhat interesting. Let's activate this. I think we should be able to hack it before anybody sets off the alarm. Yep, we're good. This data vault has already been raided. The data is damaged, but there could be a message here. I need another data sample to piece it together. The Tenno Hive has corrupted your precepts. With love, I will destroy them and make you right again. You will never find them, Hun Hao. But I see your mind. I already have found them. You owe me their lives. Very interesting and kind of corrupted way of thinking he has, of course. Uh, thinking that our lives are his to do with as he so chooses. But, uh, semantics and all that. Bad guys are gonna be bad guys. Alright. And the sentient, I, I'm not sure that they're completely sure of their motivations, but I believe that their motivations do kind of coincide with the death of all uh, life aside from their own. Uh, so that's, you know, not really the most noble of goals. Um, not 100% certain on that, but fairly certain. We're going to deactivate that alarm again. Try and make sure that we remove anybody who's coming after us. Alarms have been reset. No, we're gonna just go straight the into the spy. Is oh, dang if you it. trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. I hope that this guy didn't just set off the alarm in there. That would be really annoying. Okay, I don't think he did. Let's go up top. The rending turn, by the way, won't uh, won't. Uh, reveal you to enemies unless you hit enemies with it. The sound it makes does not actually make a sound. So if you're worried about that, don't be. Okay, so can we actually... I don't think we can actually go up into this area here. Even though it kind of looks like we can. Maybe we can? Oh, we can. Okay, I was wondering whether or not you could. And now I know you can. So that's what we did. We kind of failed to do last time, and we're just gonna take it easy so we don't jump into like a laser gate or something. Okay, so there is an enemy somewhere around here. We want to deal with them as quickly as possible. Actually, we'll just shoot him in the face. Activate this. Should be able to get it done before setting off the alarm. Did it. That's what I was looking for. I can decode the rest of the message. This is bizarre. It's for me. I need a moment to contact this person. Get to extraction. And there we are. So, kind of makes you wonder what the message was uh, to the Lotus, but as is all things, it's going to be a mystery to us least for a little bit longer. Okay, rushing through. Ooh, more plastids. Always worthwhile to pick those up because you really don't get a lot of them. And we're done with that. So the progress that we made on those challenges for the night wave, uh, that doesn't get erased even though we've completed the mission, which is kind of nice. Um, they, that accumulates over the course of missions. So that just makes it more uh, kind of a grind, but at the same time it is nice to have something to work towards, uh, especially for newer players who may not have a lot to do in that regard. Hun Hao is listening. I will be discreet. The message you uncovered was an offer to help us. I do not trust the person who wrote it, but we are out of options. 
Okay. So I guess the next part of our quest here is to find sentient fragments. Um, I think after we complete this, we'll see what the next part is, and uh, maybe we'll all close out on that. We have spent a good amount of time talking about Nightwave and the first part of the quest we did there. Uh, so actually, you know, I was trying to remember who the person who sent that uh, message to Lotus was, and I don't think I remember off the top of my head. I have a couple Hello, guesses, though. Tell. Are you surprised? Why? You know I've always had my ear to the kennel. Those dogs don't have a clue what kind of bone they've dug up. But I do. Shall I show you? <laughs> don't worry. You can trust me this time. So, the one who sent the message was our good old friend, Salad V. Um, Salad... Or, of course, Alad V. Uh, I just call him Salad because I think it's hilarious. I know, I know. Our past has been slightly, what, combative? Hmm. But genocidal invaders from the other system hmm, make strange bedfellows, wouldn't you say? And in this case, working with Alad is uh, kind of important. You might notice that he looks a bit different than the last time we saw him. The sentient Han Hao, Nightmare of the Oregon, Boogeyman to the Corpus. <laughs> that thing must have your Lotus in quite a panic for her to be working with the likes of me. And uh, she is kind of rightfully so, as stated, he is a genocidal creature. Um, so this Stark, though, seems like he's made quite a powerful friend, hasn't he? I wonder what's under that scary, smoky exterior. Hmm. A heart of gold, perhaps. They spotted you. Alarms reset. Could be noted that uh, Alad V, uh, we attempted to kill him previously, but obviously he's not dead. And Alad V kind of go goes down in history as one of the most fought enemies. In Warframe, we'll fight him quite a few times throughout the course of the game. Um, he's kind of the most reoccurring boss. However, it also is noted that uh, he's not always pure evil. Um, his main goal is kind of the forwarding of science, I suppose you could say. Um, kind of creating perfect life forms is his goal. So he's not necessarily specifically trying to murder us as Warframes. Um, that was just a part of his, I suppose, uh, kind of a part of his goal last time was he was trying to create Zanuka, which was what he believed previously to be a perfect sort of life form. But uh, obviously we, we as Warframes proved that wrong. In these underwater bits, um, I think this might be similar to a spy. Um, not positive, but in these underwater bits, you really don't have to worry about being quiet. Just dealing with these enemies is good enough. Alright. Um, also, the purple stuff on his cheek there uh, might be very reminiscent of uh, some biological problems that we've seen in the past. Uh, Alad V will be uh, having some problems with that himself in the future. Alright. Um, I don't think there's anything else for me to really say other than, hey, look at that, he's working with us this time around. Wouldn't trust him as far as we could throw him, but we're just going to have to deal with it for the time being. Listen to uh, tell me. You're near the dick site. Of course I could just tell you where it is, but what fun would that be? So keep your eyes peeled. If you have eyes, that is. Hmm. That's it. You must smell the prize. Because I know you can't see it. <laughs> so 
also this effective area here that you might uh, notice on our mini-map is the area of which we can find the objects that we're looking for. I don't remember exactly where they are, but we'll find them as we're moving around here. Gotta search the area and all of that. Try not to get ourselves killed. I don't remember exactly what they're in. If they're in containers or what. But they are definitely around. Uh, well, we could try in here. Yes, getting warmer. Getting colder. Warmer. So we are in kind of the right area here. You were warm, but now you're not. Hmm. We were warm, but now we're not, huh? That's it. You must smell the prize. Because I know you can't see it. <laughs> colder. Above us, perhaps? Nope. That's a screen we can't see. So Alibi B will direct us towards where the objects are. It is just something to note. Uh, we do have to find them ourselves, though. Good old game of hot and cold. Uh, typically they're in, like, little back areas. Getting colder. Alright, but Alan V says they're not here, so... Maybe if we just move forward this way. Uh, down here, right? Perhaps? Yeah, we're on the right track here. Let's see... Not in there, I don't think. Get out of here. Freaking grenier scuba divers. Uh, what about over here? What a solid thing. You must smell the prize. Because I know you can't see it. <laughs> Can you see it? It's it's right there. Right here. So there are, of course, sentient pieces here. Do we have to scan them? I forget. Uh, let's pull out our scanner just to make sure. Uh, nope. Uh oh, up here. Of course. Are these the bones you're looking for, Notice? Yes, this is it. A fragment of of my father, destroyed in the old war. I can use it to see him. I see the stalker stronger, unhoused voice within him. I see the reservoir, but I feel confusion. He doesn't know unless... Oh, no. Thank you, daughter. Fear has baited you to the snare. What was secret is now known. Your Tenno, their touch. I now see the womb of the sky. My shadow now walks the path. What have I done? Get out of there, Tenno. So? Yes, yes, hurry, Tenno. But be careful. Last time you got close with the sentients, you wiped out an entire civilization. But you don't remember that, do you? And so we don't. But now it becomes a race. Us and the Stalker. We will reach it first. Crimey, this guy is just destroying me. I don't remember those guys having that uh, good of an attack there. I really think these underwater bits are kind of interesting visually, um, but the slow pace of them is just so miserable. I know our arcwing can go faster than this, which is kind of the sad part, of course. It just, it feels bad. I can't really begin to describe it. If you've played these underwater missions, you kind of know what I'm talking about. It just feels really bad to be so slow. 
very awkward. I would talk more about uh, what Alad V just stated, uh, but he'll kind of explain it over time himself. And I've kind of given away hints previously. What with wars and all that. The universe wasn't such a desolate place one time. Uh, Alright, so we're making it, we're making it. And we're here. Fantastic, so that completes that leg of the quest. Uh, let's see. I haven't spent that much time doing it, but we have spent an okay amount of time. Um, yeah, I think we'll have to save the next parts of the quest for next time. Tell me, Lotus, what is this reservoir? Hmm, some hidden Tenno weakness? Goodbye, Alad. You've earned your favor. We'll take it from here. <laughs> Don't think so. I'm here to protect my investment. If that thing manages to destroy the Tenno, then where does my investment go? Now then, where is he? Well, that will be a question we have to answer next time. Um, this kind of... I think in the next part we'll probably conclude the second dream. I don't believe it's that long, so... Uh, I'll also complete that um, Gift of the Lotus for the Oregon Catalyst in between parts, and uh, probably start building that if I have the time. Uh, but until then, goodbye.